Let us now look at question three of paper two um, of the 2022 final um, exam paper. So question three says to us, every learner in a, okay, let's just look at it properly. Every learner in a technology class is expected to have Prestec and Prit glue. The Prestec is packed in a rectangular shaped sleeve and the Prit is cylindrical. So we know already that we've got a rectangular shape sleeve and then um, the Prit is put in a cylindrical container. So those are two um, shapes that we are given. The dimensions of the rectangular face of the Prestic sleeve and the cylindrical print container are given below. There. Nice one. Ooh, love it. Okay, so for both we are given the dimensions and then it says there, use the information below to calculate. So calculate the perimeter of the front of the Prestic sleeve. Firstly, perimeter is just an addition of all the sides. The nice thing about MATLAB is that you get your formulas. Can you see? We've been given the formulas. So that's going to be 2 times length. So for the, um, let's see, for the print plastic, the length is 239 millimeters. And then we know that the breadth or the width, because remember breadth and width um, is exactly the same thing. Okay, the breadth or the width um, is 89. This is all in millimeters, meaning your answer also needs to be in millimeters. So that's 2 times 2, delete to 39 plus 89 that's 656 millimeters perimeter is millimeters so 656 millimeters okay 656 millimeters calculate in centimeters the height of the opening or the closing part of the print container so we want the height in centimeters. So if the total height here, if the total height is 114 millimeters, we just want this part of it. So we've already been given this part and this part of it. So we're going to say 114 millimeters. 114 millimeters and I'm going to tell you something just now we need to then add these two together which is 2,5 plus 7 2,5 centimeters plus 7 centimeters before I can do anything before I can do anything I cannot work with millimeters and centimeters in the same breadth, okay? So I need, I cannot work with millimeters and centimeters in the same breadth, so I need to do my conversions. So if I do my conversions, I need to convert this to centimeters because my answer needs to be in centimeters. So there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter, so it's going to be 11,4. You see, so it's going to be 11, 4 centimeters minus 2,5 plus 7. You cannot work with centimeters and millimeters in the same breath. Very dangerous to do that. Okay. So that gives you 1,9 centimeters, meaning that that lid is 1,9 centimeters high, okay? The actual height of the glue in the print container is 8,5 centimeters. So, if they're saying actual height, they mean in real life. And the volume of the glue to three decimal places 
is 52,346 centimeters cubed. Show how the volume of the glue was calculated if the diameter of the glue is 28 millimeters. So volume, we are given a formula for volume there already. And the nice thing, we are already given pi. Okay, so volume is equal to 3,142. And then radius. The radius um, that we are given is that we need to know the relationship between radius and diameter. So diameter is from here to here. That's diameter. And then radius is half of diameter from there to there. Meaning we need to divide our diameter into half. But before we can do that, we have to convert this to centimeters first. So when we um, calculate that in terms of centimeters, it's going to be 2,8 centimeters. Divided by 2 squared times the height. Has the height been given? The height has been given as 8, 5. Okay, let's go put that um, into our calculator. So, 3,142 times 2,8 all over 2 squared. You need to know how to use your calculator, ne? Um, you can't be using it the first time times 8.5 in an exam. That's 52,346. Okay, I'm doing it to three decimal places because we were also given to three decimal places. 52,346 centimeters cubed which is the same as that so you get all four of your marks determine rounded to the nearest gram the mass of the glue in the print container if the density of the glue so we've been given that ne? we've been given the density of it we've got the volume of it now we are looking for the mass so we've got that um, okay, let's see how we are going to do this particular one in terms of what we are given. So, this is density. So, I'm going to put density under density. Okay. And then, because we are looking for the mass, I'm going to make the mass x. And then because we've already calculated the volume in the previous question, which was 52,346, we are then going to solve for x. And if we are solving for x, when this comes to the side, we need to multiply with it. So it's going to be 0, 0,82 times 52,346. Okay. So that's how we're going to find our answer. 0, 0,82 times 52,346. So that is 42. Let's write the full number, please. The full number first. The reason why you write the full number first is that just in case you rounded off incorrectly, um, you still get a mark for something. So don't just rush um, to write your rounded off answer, okay? So if I'm rounding it off to a whole number, because when I go and I buy glue, they don't say to me, at the shop, this glue is 42,9 grams. So they round it off to 43 grams. Measurement, I love measurement, absolutely love it.